Yo ho ho! Hello animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful nightmare tips within 5 minutes. Today we're talking about render depth. It is very important, so follow along. Alright, I got this Steve here, and if I make him semi-transparent and drop his render depth down, something funny happens. We've all experienced this before, and I'll tell you what it does. Render depth determines what gets rendered first. It's like a hierarchy. So the ground's render depth is zero. Steve has a lower render depth, which means Steve gets rendered first. I'm gonna try to make it simple with some movie magic editing. So in this scene, we've got a semi-transparent Steve who rendered first, with nothing behind them because the ground didn't render yet. Those pixels are already baked on the screen, and because the ground has a render depth of zero, ground gets rendered after Steve, but the pixels where Steve is are already baked down, so the ground is not visible below it. But if we change Steve's render depth to be 1, ground gets rendered first, and the semi-transparent Steve gets rendered afterwards, with the ground already being there, you know, because the ground rendered first. That is a very important mechanic when it comes to rigging. So I've got a scene here. We've got the Steve, the Goldor, and the surface. I'm gonna make the surface be almost transparent, and never drop the render depth below 0, otherwise I'm gonna mess up my floor and I don't want that. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit so I can know where it is. I want to raise Steve's render depth up. So now Steve is going to be invisible every time he goes behind the surface. You know, because the surface renders first when there's no Steve behind them and those pixels are already baked, and then it's Steve's time to render. And it's the same way you create artificial holes. If I drop the render depth of this surface to minus one and make it transparent, it's rendering before the ground. However, if I drop the gold ore down, which is also invisible now, but the gold ore's render depth is even lower, say minus two, the gold ore is what's rendered first, and then the surface renders which you can see the gold or through it, and then the floor renders. And if you add an inverted cube, which you can only see the inside faces, put it down into the surface and make its render depth lower than the surface, you're going to see the inverted cube first, then the surface, and then the ground. What is rendered first? is already baking out those pixels. So if this cube was rendered first, those pixels are already there. The cube is already there. Then the surface renders, which is above the cube. And there's no ground yet, so the surface is showing you the, the cube beneath it. And that's already there. You cannot change that. And then you can see the ground, but the ground can override this because that was already there before. I really hope I can make this more simple with video editing, but that is essentially how it works. I use render depth all the time in my face rigs, because if you scale the surface, you can control the hole, which was never even there. That's how eyes and mouth and stuff works. Or you can use it to hide certain characters. Or you can use other characters to display other things. You can show things through a certain lens. And the best I can tell you is to just play around with it and see what it does. It's a very useful thing to know and I think you should. And that is all for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you got any questions, drop them down in the comments. And share support to my channel by dropping a like on this video and hit the bell to get notified as my videos come out. Once again, thanks for watching and happy holidays. Stay sharp.